Okay, it's over to you. Yes. If you have a question, right. get, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Stick your hand up and wait for me. Ignore him. Okay. And wait for me to <laughs> say. Okay, two later. Right. Uh, two questions. No one? No, no. Just <laughs> one. Choose the can wait, but, but, but no, but go ahead. Tell the two questions as long as you don't ask the second one after you ask the first one. In other words, ask, tell me about the point. Pride. Is what? You haven't touched on family pride. Oh, yeah, oh, that's right. You're right. And about gay marriage in New York, which is now living. Going back to? No, gay marriage in New York. In New York, yes. Uh, Hold let on, let me tell you because I haven't heard. Serena asked about Fat Troy founding the first gay pride festival mm -hmm. and also yeah, right. uh, pray, pray, sorry. Yeah. and also mentioned that gay marriage is legal in the state of New York. Yes, uh, the state of New York, we're so proud we don't know what to do because the state legislature passed it because the governor wanted it passed. And in New York, I mean, the politics there, are, oh my God, it's like a, you know. Tell us about the first gay pride parade. Okay, first gay pride parade, yes I am. I'm very proud of that too. Uh, the Gay Pride pray, uh, Committee there, uh, three men we met. Morris Kite received a letter from New York saying, can't y'all do something? Well, we thought, Morris immediately, oh, we're going to hold this demonstration. I said, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is Hollywood. We're going to have a parade. <laughs> this is Hollywood. It doesn't always have to be a demonstration. Let's put some fun in this. And my God, <laughs> easier said than that. <laughs> Uh, we went to the police commission, that's where you had to get permission, and from the minute I walked in the door, and I signed an MCC, it was an MCC's name, uh, for the first gay pride parade in American history. New York had a demonstration on sidewalks. We went to the police commission. They browbeat us for an hour, me, the group said, we're going to let you talk, but don't, you know, don't, don't tell them, one person said, don't tell them it's gay. <laughs> well, I, I mean, after being browbeat, I said, they know who we are. And they kept, who do you represent? And I said, the homosexual community of LA, chief of police. If you get a parade permit to this group, you ought to give it to thieves and burglars to march down Hollywood Boulevard. I mean, hateful. And so they uh, said, well, we'll, uh, we'll come back with our decision. And they dismissed themselves, came back in and said, uh, yes, you can hold your parade. Uh, and these are the points. If you have at least 5,000 people to march. Number two, if you put up two bonds, the first one is for a million dollars. The second one has to be a cash bond of a half a million dollars. That's to pay the police overtime to protect you. The million dollars is to pay for all the glass that's going to be broken on Hollywood Boulevard as people throw rocks at y'all. I said, oh good, this is just like World War II. Uh, the Jews, if, they, they, if, they, uh, if a rock was thrown at them and they dumped the rock and it broke something, they had to pay for it. And I said, good, we're going back to, a, a, you know, here we are, is this going to be Nazism? And uh, then they said, uh, you know, you got to do all this. And uh, so we said, uh, okay, thank you. And uh, we immediately went to the ACLU, the American Civil Liberties, assigned an attorney. He immediately went with us, Herb Selwyn again, a very famous attorney. He went with us to the uh, city council, I mean the police commission, and he said, we're back because as you know, under the city charter, we can't sue you until we've met with you twice. This is the meeting where we're gonna meet with you now, what are you gonna do? And then they dropped, the only thing they dropped was the 5,000. And said, we still had to pay these two things. We immediately, on Monday, they said that on Friday, on Monday morning, we went to court. And here we are, we're supposed to hold Gay Pride the next Sunday. And we had tried, I mean, we're doing everything we can, do it within the law to get it there. But we're going to hold a demonstration if we can't hold the parade. But uh, all at once, on Friday, we go before a judge. The judge bangs his gavel and said, I don't care what you have to do. These people don't have to pay a penny to, for their parade unless you charge it for everybody else, which they didn't, of course. And they said, we don't care if you have to call out the National Guard. You're to protect these people and let them hold their march. We won on Friday and we were shocked. We had to get on the phone. Everybody, Bill floats quick. You know, get it ready. We're holding a parade. And I said to people, listen, we'll even have a pet section. You know, you bring the pets and march with them. You know, and I tell you, it was amazing. Uh, 50,000 people showed up. Gay people in dark shades, big hands. <laughs> I've never seen more shades. <laughs> you know, I mean, other than, I mean, it was amazing. And that parade, I'm telling you, we got millions of dollars worth of publicity. I mean, my God, 
that we pulled it off. And you know what we had in that parade? It was amazing. We had everything. Well, we had a little leather group, three men, and uh, they wanted, they, and you know what, they wanted to be in the parade. We said, absolutely, everybody's invited to be in the parade. And here, this guy, I couldn't believe the president of the group, he comes on his big Harley. He's got a scar on his face, chains down the left side, you know, Mr. Butch. And uh, with pink high heels on. <laughs> and everybody was scared to death of him all down the road. And they told him he was the Hell's Angels and it was fixing to be a black year, you know what I mean? And they went down the boulevard. Our pet section was led by a young man with an Alaskan husky with a sign on the side of the dog that said, We don't all walk poodles. <laughs> and I mean, people with their cages, with their birds, and all marching in the back. We had Orange County, one of our most conservative areas in Southern California at that time. All it was, they showed up with their big banner, homosexuals for Ronald Reagan. I heard a woman say, I can forgive them for being gay, but not for being a Republican. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> and then the MCC. Uh, our choir, we had a float with people on it, men, women, children, and uh, we marched down that boulevard. Willie Smith, he led the march, and he had canned music. He said, well, they're trying to treat us, uh, you know. So he had German march music from World War II all down the boulevard. said, you know, they're going to act like this, and we're going to throw it right back in their face. But we also had the other things, too. I mean, you know, that were at that time incredible. And, uh, that's continued to grow and I'm invited all over the world because um, I'm the only founder of our, uh, I was the youngest one and the other two men are deceased, but the city of Los Angeles uh, dedicated a plaque uh, and they, on the plaque, uh, it says from this, uh, they forget the history of it, but it's okay, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> once like, this bronze plaque was put up and it said from this corner, the first gay pride parade in, Amer in world history uh, stepped off. It was the first closure of a street for a gay pride event in American history. Now, they put in, we sued them. <laughs> I didn't care. And they said the, the co-founders were Reverend Troy Perry, Mr. Morris Kite, and uh, uh, Reverend Bob Humphreys. And uh, I'm, I, you know, I tell people it was better than a film. <coughs> that you live to see things sometimes. Uh, someone, uh, one of our students in a seminary all at once said, Reverend Gray, you've seen this book, I'm sure. I said, what are you talking about? It said, it's a story of uh, uh, the Christian church in America, uh, religion in America from the, uh, you know, from the British colonies to today. And my God, uh, I said, I still don't know what you don't. Know. She said, I will, don't worry, I'm sending you a copy right now. And uh, Onetta Brooks, who is in the Los Angeles church of uh, clergy there, and Onetta sent me this, and I was shocked. I'd never seen it. And here was Dr. Martin Luther King's picture. Here was Mar uh, Malcolm X in two pages of a river Troy Perry. And uh, it was under women and gay rights, because they're connected. See, we always begin men. We're blamed for acting like women. But put down to us, or put down to women, you know? In other words, you're a woman is what, you know, they used to try to do. And I always took up and I said, you know, you're not going to treat women that way, and you're not going to treat me that way. I said, I watched what my mother went through when her second, her husband, left when we had to leave because he beat her up. And I said, when we went back and lost everything because the laws were written in the South where the husband got all the money. He had nothing. And my mother let him sell everything. And we went from being a very wealthy, I mean, you know, sort of family to all at once, almost poverty. My mother had to get a job. My mother was a little country girl. Uh, she was not wise always in the ways of the world, but she took any job with five boys. When the relatives tried to split us up, she said, absolutely not. We're going to make it together. We're not going to make it. So yes, I love my mom, and uh, yes, I'm a mama's boy. <laughs> I'm very proud of that. Yeah. So I'm sorry, but I had to pull back in because my mother was in the car with me, but I love her at the first gay pride parade. And mother waving, everybody screaming, you know, Troy, 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 but it was mother to Miss Mary, Miss Mary. But you look over here, something get photographs, and. Uh, 
I was just, uh, your pastor knows this, <laughs> and uh, I was invited to Stuttgart, Germany, <laughs> uh, two years ago to, for, to be the Grand Marshal of the Gay Pride Parade that I've done this all over the world. And uh, it's just been amazing. I'm so honored. Uh, I meet with other politicians. I've tried it. I met with the Prime Minister of New Zealand at one point, uh, Helen, um, first female anyway, uh, Prime Minister of the country. Uh, we had gay people who were there, transgender, when we were talking about it. Uh, we have a transgender person there who was a sex worker who was named the Minister of Agriculture for the country of New Zealand because she was a farmer, a good farmer as both a female and a male. And when I got the writing in this little community, said, exactly, that's who we want, George Ann Byers. And this transgender woman, yeah, this woman, one, I mean, was named and certified by Parliament to be the uh, uh, agriculture minister because she was so good and she knew how to talk to these farmers. She said, once I was a bull, but now I'm yelling. <laughs> in other words, you just knew how to talk, you know what I mean? And these 